What's going on YouTube gamers? Bonfire here bringing you another insight commentary. And today I'm playing some Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer on the brand new map Pharaoh from the Invasion DLC. And the gameplay kind of starts off slow, get a few deaths, but I pick it up in the end, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And today I wanted to talk about E3, and more specifically, Microsoft's press conference at E3 2014. I wanted to cover some of the positives and negatives that it took away from the conference and kind of give you guys some of my thoughts on it. So first I wanted to start with the negatives, and there was only a couple things that I had a few gripes with. And the first was, it felt like there was more of a focus on timed DLC exclusives rather than actual first party exclusive games. And part of my reasoning and viewpoint of that is that a lot of the exclusive they announced, nothing was really new. There was a couple exceptions, but most of them weren't really new, kind of already announced. And in there they kind of their exclusives covered a, a wide genre of games and in most of them I'm not really interested in terms of like racing games and fitness games and you know MMO type games those aren't really my cup of tea but there was a couple in there that I did enjoy but overall I felt like the focus for them seemed to be on DLC exclusives and just to name some of the exclusive DLCs that they did announce they retained the exclusive exclusivity with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare which is no surprise there I mean that's a very smart move for Xbox they announced some time timed exclusivity with Evolve which by the way that game looks so good I cannot wait for it they also announced some timed exclusivity with Dragon Age Inquisition and they also announced timed exclusivity with The Division which is kinda of surprising there but I just kind of felt like there was more of a focus on that rather than games, and and I hope that's not something we see going forward. But that's that kind of seemed to be a focus in there rather than giving us some brand new IPs or some new exclusive games. Now, one of the other gripes I had with their press conference was the lack of Halo Five news. And what I was really looking for as a big as a Halo fan as I am, was I wanted some direct information, a specific, just brief trailer regarding Halo 5. I want to know who that mysterious Spartan is. I kind of want to know the direction of the story. I just, I, I, I had a desire to learn more about Halo 5, and I really thought we were going to get that. Now, Microsoft actually did something really clever in their Master Chief Collection announcement, because the trailer that they showed, which was a scene a flashback scene from Halo 2 where he's you know gonna destroy one of the ships with the bomb and you could see that that mysterious Spartan from Halo 5 was was in there and the Arbiter was actually talking to him and we actually got his name which was Agent Locke and we can kind of speculate from there what that game in the direction of that game is going to be about so they did a clever job I just wanted it to be more direct I wanted more information but that kinda leads me into my positives and that is first of all the Master Chief Collection I think Microsoft hit an absolute home run with that bringing Halos 1 through 4 to the Xbox One and giving us some incentives to purchase it Now I know some people may be griping thinking Oh, you know, it's just a bunch of remakes. It's nothing new. Just a cash grab. And, well, you can think that, but at least they're giving us some incentives to purchase it. And by the way, have you seen some of the screenshots from Halo 2 and what they've done to it? It looks freaking fantastic. And I think one of the pluses with this Master Chief Collection is that the Halo 2 multiplayer is being brought to the collection unscathed, as it was originally and I'm really looking forward to hopping back in that because that is arguably one of the best Halo multiplayers out. Now I mentioned some incentives about the Master Chief Collection and they definitely gave us some. First of all you're gonna get all the DLC all the maps from Halos 1 through 4 and I think they said that's over like a hundred maps that's a lot of content a lot of bang for your buck. You're also gonna get access to the live action digital short which is Halo Nightfall, which is going to tell the story and more about Agent Locke between Halos 4 and 5, which that's what I'm looking forward to. That's the information I want to know. And then we're also going to get access to Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta this December. 
and they said it's going to be the arena style multiplayer, 60 frames per second, a lot of good stuff. That's definitely an incentive, and I really think it's it's a nice a nice gesture for all the core Halo fans, which is arguably the core Xbox fans. And for 60 bucks, that's a good deal. The next thing that I took away from the Xbox press conference on the positive note was that they showed a focus on indie games, and I thought that's what they really need to do. And they showed a nice montage of a bunch of indie games that they're working to bring to the Xbox One. And just to name a few that really stood out to me, first of all, Mighty Number no. 9, which is like a Mega Man game, looks awesome. They showed Hell Raid, which kind of looks like a medieval first-person game. I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, White Knight, I have no idea what that game's about, but I really liked the art style. It was kind of a black and white, almost detective-looking game. And then Below, which is supposed to be a really dark adventure game. A lot of rave people were raving about that. And then the guys who brought us Limbo on the Xbox 360, which, by the way, if you haven't played that, you should. It's a really cool game, very well done. They got to announce their own tra with their own trailer, Inside, which looks very Limbo-esque, but... I loved to see all these indie games. There's tons of them coming to the Xbox One. My only gripe is we didn't get any release dates or information on how soon some of these are going to be coming to the Xbox One. But I liked to see that focus because I think it's really what they need. And indie games are awesome, people. If you haven't got on board and realized that, you're far behind. Next, and I think this is one probably one of the coolest games that was in the Microsoft press conference, was they got to announce the new Tomb Raider, the sequel to 2013's Tomb Raider reboot, which I loved that game, and I was really excited to see a new Tomb Raider game. They're, they're doing a sequel. I don't think anyone really saw this coming, so I thought it was really cool that Microsoft got the opportunity to announce this game in their press conference, and and awesome very very cool it looks cool and I love the direction of that that franchise where that franchise is going it, it's awesome last and the last positive and actually one of the exclusives that I didn't know about or I think anyone knew about saw coming that I liked was Scalebound and we don't really know much about this game I think it's slated for 2015 or early 2016 not 100 percent sure but to me, it kind of looked like a Monster Hunter game. And again, I don't really know much about it, but I thought it looked cool. It's supposed to be like an adventure game. And I like that. Those are more of the type of games I was looking forward to. I wanted a little bit more, hence my first negative in this commentary. But I think that game looks cool. So overall, I think Microsoft did a fantastic job on their press conference. Don't get me wrong. I liked what they did. I think they did exactly what they needed to do. They showed us 90 minutes of games, and that's what people wanted. That's what people expected, and that's what Microsoft did. They did exactly what they needed to do. So I'm excited. I think they showed us that a lot of great things are coming to the Xbox One, and it shows that they're keeping with their vision in terms of trying to market the console to a wide variety of people, hence their wide genres of exclusives. But they did a nice job. I was stoked to see some of these things. So let me know what you guys think about Microsoft's press conference down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed the video and the gameplay, let me know with a thumbs up. And if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more great content coming your way. Until next time, I'm Bonfire, and I will see you online. Hey guys, don't forget about Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter, and hit that button down below.